If you're passionate about cannabis or just curious about the plant's numerous aspects, we've got the perfect place for you. Join our thriving Cannabis Discord community where you can discuss everything related to cannabis, from cultivation tips, strain selection and nutrient management to the latest cannabis news and much more. Let's grow together in our knowledge and passion for cannabis. We'll leave the invite link in the description below. See you there. Growing cannabis outdoors can be a gratifying experience, taking advantage of nature's resources like the sun, rainwater and ample space. In this guide, we'll delve into the essentials of outdoor cannabis cultivation, ensuring you're well equipped for a successful harvest season. The outdoors versus indoors debate comes down to your personal preference and resources. Outdoor cultivation tends to offer more space, abundant natural light, fresh air and potential for larger yields. On the flip side, it makes plants more vulnerable to pests, harsh weather conditions and temperature fluctuations. Indoor growing offers shelter, control over temperature and humidity and privacy. However, space may be limited, yields might be smaller and electricity bills can potentially soar higher than your cannabis plants themselves. Selecting an optimal location for outdoor cultivation is critical. The chosen spot should have a stable temperature, never dropping below 12 degrees Celsius or exceeding 30 degrees Celsius. Receive 6 to 8 hours of sunlight daily and provide shelter from harsh weather. Various options exist, from balconies and rooftops to private gardens and guerrilla locations. Each has its advantages and challenges, such as sunlight availability, wind exposure and potential pest issues. Consideration should be given to watering, safety and the possibility of light pollution affecting your plants. In addition, the choice of whether to use garden beds or pots can greatly impact your growing experience. While pots offer mobility and better root aeration, garden beds encourage biodiversity and help protect against pets with companion planting. The next step involves choosing the right cannabis strain, depending on your location's climate and your desired effects. Northern climates with shorter growing seasons may benefit from hardy, fast-flowering autoflowers. In contrast, those in southern climates can opt for sativas that take longer to flower. Terpene profiles can give you an insight into the potential flavor and aroma of your chosen strain. Germination is the initiation phase of your cannabis plant's life. It's facilitated by darkness, moisture and humidity, making soil an ideal medium. In warmer climates, you can start directly outdoors, while colder climates may necessitate indoor germination before transplanting outdoors. Following germination, your plant will enter a two-week seedling stage, requiring consistent light, around 70% humidity and sparing watering. The subsequent vegetative phase is where your plants grow energetically, producing large fan leaves and requiring careful watering and optimal soil pH for nutrient absorption. Watering frequency is ideally guided by the top inch of soil drying out and more frequently could risk root rot. One of the challenges of outdoor cultivation is preventing pests. Introducing predatory insects, companion planting, beneficial fungi and physical barriers can help keep pests at bay. Additionally, protecting against pollination is key to producing high-quality buds and careful sexing of your plants can prevent unwanted fertilization. In terms of the growing timeline, germination usually begins indoors around late February for cooler climates, with the seedling stage following. Plants can be moved outdoors around mid-April or germinated directly outside in warmer climates. The summer months are ideal for topping and training plants to boost yield and manage growth. The pre-flowering phase in late summer is the time to sex your plants, ensuring no males fertilize your female plants. While we couldn't encompass all the intricacies of cannabis cultivation in one video, hopefully that sets you up with some foundational knowledge and useful tips. Let us know in the comments if you'd like us to cover any particular aspect in more detail. And of course, if you've enjoyed this video, smoke up the like button and subscribe to our channel so you too can become a cannabis expert.